Hello. And welcome to One Print Shop. In this tutorial, we'll explore an exciting new feature called Default Order Product Status, introduced in the latest version 10.1. As an admin, have you ever wished for the ability to set default order product statuses, based on product types and order flow? If yes, then this tutorial aims to provide a solution, by demonstrating the implementation of a feature, that enables the admin to establish personalized default order product statuses, for different product types and order flows. If we talk about the advantages. This new addition, allows the admin to automate order product statuses based on the product, product type, and order flow. It allows for prioritizing the overwrite, of the default order product status. Streamlined order product status types, to make the tracking process easier and more straightforward. So, let's dive right in and see how it works. Here we are in the admin panel. To access the default order product status section, go to the orders menu, and select order status. Once you're on the order status page, in the top right corner you will find the newly added section called default order product status. Here it is, the default order product status section. As you can see, it provides options to set default product statuses, based on three parameters. Product, product type, and order flow. Let's start by setting a default product status, for a specific product. Click on the select product drop-down menu, to see the list of available products. Now, choose the product for which you want to set the default status. Once you've selected the product, you have to choose the default order product status drop-down menu, that appears below it. This drop-down allows you to choose the default order product status for that product. Click on the Save button, and you've successfully set the default product status for business card magnets. Now let's move on to setting default statuses, based on the product type. Click on the Product Type tab to explore the available options. We have two types, one is Standard, and the other is Predefined Product. In our case, let's choose Standard Product, and select any specific order product status which you want to set, and click on the Save button you've now set the default status for standard product. Finally, let's explore how to set default statuses based on the order flow. Click on the order flow tab, to see the available options. Choosing upload design from the options, and setting order product status just like before, which allows you to select the default status for the chosen order flow, and click on the save button. In this way, you've successfully set the default status for the upload design order flow. Now, when it comes to organizing your priorities, remember this simple order. 1. Product, always give it first priority. 2. Product type, after the product, focus on its type. 3. Order flow, finally, consider the order flow. When considering the use case, let's imagine that we receive an order for a product called, business card magnets. By default, we have set the status of this product to proof approved. The system recognizes the product, and prioritizes the status set at the product level. If no default status is set specifically for the product, the system will consider the default status assigned to the product type, such as standard. Lastly, the order flow is given the lowest priority. In this case, the order was placed using the upload design mode, so the system will check for the default order status, associated with upload design. That's how the process works. You've learned how to use the default order product status section, to set default product statuses based on the product, product type, and order flow. This new feature will undoubtedly enhance your control over order processing. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team via mail or live chat. Thank you.